the video. In today's video, I'll be taking you through my process of building a flesh and support paradise. We're building a paint nest for a 3D pop star. Anyway, let's get started. Firstly, I cut the parts off the sprue, clean up the mould lines, and then construct the model, making sure to leave the feet unglued. The reason that I'm leaving the feet off for now is because they are stepping on rocks that will attach to the base, and I'm going to be painting the base and the model separately. Next I apply liquid green stuff where there's a bit of a gap where parts have been joined together, and once dry I sand it down with a file. I then attach the feet using an extremely thin layer of super glue. The aim here is to have enough glue that it will hold the model's weight, but still easily be snapped off. We only need to attach the feet in order to map out where the rocks that the model is standing on will go on the base. Whilst the super glue is drying, I build up the base with layers of cork, making sure that the rocks fit nicely on each layer. Once I finish with the cork, I draw around where the rocks will sit using a pen and then snap the feet off and glue them down in the spots marked out. After that, I glue a few rocks and skulls down before coating the base in a texture paint. Using a water and PVA glue mix, I then stick down grit, sand and flock, and then follow it up with another layer of the mixture to secure it. Next I glue down some plants, some grass tufts, and followed by a few sticks to represent fallen branches and logs, and finally some leaves. Moving on to the airbrush, I help further seal down the basing materials by giving it a good coating of a varnish. I then undercoat the model and the base with a black from a rattle can. After that has dried, I spray all of the exposed bone on the model with an ivory colour and then give the base a zenith or highlight using white acrylic ink. Once the ink has dried, I paint the vegetation with a green ink and the mud and branches with a brown ink. Using a mix of brown and purple paint, I paint the dip in the middle of the base and a few other patches just dotted around. This should help make these areas look a bit wet. Next I paint the rocks grey and the skulls and talons ivory and then paint the skin on the feet with a black. Then I give the branches and wet patches a coat of sepia ink before giving all of the vegetation on and the underside of the branches a green wash. The rest of the base is then given a brown wash. Once the washes have dried, I dry brush the skulls, talons and branches with an ivory before dry brushing the vegetation with a bright green. The last bit of dry brushing is using a purpley grey on the flesh of the feet. If you don't have a purpley grey, there is a straightforward trick that you can do to make one. So, uh, firstly, you're going to need a, a box or a bag or something. <clears throat> uh, purple, put that in. Uh, Grey, put that in. And you just, just uh, give it a couple of taps. And then, uh, purple. That's a, hmm. I've got the grey, I've got the purple, I've got some very basic editing skills, so why might that not work? 
Ah, I haven't got enough subscribers. That's what it is. That's the bit where you go and subscribe. Okay, right, let's try that again. So, green and purple, couple of taps. There we go, much better. Okay, so we've got our purple, we've got our grey, and we've got our purpley grey. Magic. The last bit of work on the base for now is adding a pool of water in the middle. For this I use water texture from Vallejo, and I apply this in layers to make sure that I don't get any bubbles. Moving on to the model, I paint all of the skin black, the gore and muscle dark red, and a few strands of hair grey. Next I give the grey hairs a black wash, and then everything else apart from the black skin a brown wash. As the washes are drying on the model, I head back to the base and give anything bone a gloss varnish. Back to the model and I dry brush the skin with the same purpley grey that I used on the feet. Keeping with dry brushing, I give the flesh a dry brush with an orange. Once I'm finished with the dry brush, I then highlight the flesh using a bright skin tone. Heading back to the base, I give all of the varnish bone an oil wash with a brown and clean up any overspill with a cotton bud. Cracking out the airbrush again, I give the whole model a gloss varnish. After the varnish has dried, I then wash all of the bone with a brown oil wash, again cleaning up any overspill and raised edges with a cotton bud. Once the wash is dried, I go back to the airbrush and give the model a matte varnish. As the model is drying, I then paint the rim of the base black and make sure that the bone and feet are given a layer of matte varnish. I then glue the model to the base. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of this because the file became corrupted, but I would say that you need to make sure that you dry fit before you apply any glue so you know exactly where it's going to sit. And here we have the finished model, ready to cause carnage in the mortal realms. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any ideas on how to improve the channel, or if you have an idea for content you'd like to see on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. Please feel free to check our Instagram account for pics of models that I've been working on, and you can also join the community via our Facebook group. The links for both will be in the description below. Stay safe, and hope to see you again soon.